Jenkins. Yes. Oh, dear. I expect it's for me. A bit early, isn't it? Well, I said in the advert any time. Nina Farthing, personal services. Personal clinical services. Oh, oh, just a minute, please. It's for him! For him? He wants Tommy Tonsley. Tommy? For you! What? Telephone for you! For me? For you! Who the hell is it? Who is it? Excuse me, please. Who is it? Adrian Inchcliffe! Adrian Inchcliffe! Adrian Inchcliffe? Who the hell is he? Who is he? Excuse me, please. Who are you? The casting director of Ellie Star Films! The casting director of Ellie Star Films! Adrian. Tommy Tonsley here. Crown and Scepter, Molly Pagan here. Is that 01170587? That is correct. Molly Pegler here. Mr. Pegler is calling you from Dover. Will you pay for the call? Mr. Pegler? Yes. I, th I think you've made a mistake. You don't wish to pay for Mr. Pegler's call. <sighs> Mr. Pegler passed away eight years ago. Oh. Eight years last June. June the 21st. He says he's Mr. Pegler. Well, he's a liar, then. You tell him that. Yes, madam. Sorry, madam, but Mr. Arthur Pegler's what he said. Sorry to have troubled you. Arthur Pegler? That's what he said. But, but Arthur Pegler's in Australia. He says he's in Dover. Oh. Uh... Well, for Arthur, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Tommy! Breakfast! He's no good if he doesn't get some food inside him. He thinks he is, but I know he's not. Tommy! No, don't let it get cold. You haven't got much time. Oh, I think I'm more nervous than what he is. It's the first serious part he's ever been for. Have you seen my belt? You haven't got a belt. Of course I've got a belt. No, you haven't. I threw it out. You what? You broke it, remember? The day of Annie's funeral. Oh, my God. Well, how am I going to keep the trousers up? Well, you've got braces for that. There's no buttons on these trousers for braces. It's a self-supporting suit. Oh, well, that's all right, then. It is not all right. Well, you just said it was a self-supporting suit. Are you daft or what? This is a self-supporting suit. This suit was made to support itself. You were made to support yourself. In a few years, you'll need propping up. Oh. This suit needs a belt to prop it up. Does he need a belt? Have you got a belt? Oh, there are some belts. Ooh. I'm not wearing her oh, belt. Oh, Tommy. You can have one of these, but it's only a loan. I must have it back because it goes with a set. And you can't order spare parts for any of these. I'm not wearing her belt. Why not? Be all right as long as you keep your jacket shut. Now, can I tell you something, and I mean this, when I get this part, all this lot's going out, and you can go out with it if you like. Huh. I shall be the breadwinner, and I shan't need her rent. She is your daughter, Tommy. Uh, so our mother says. <laughs> oh. Where's my shirt? In the kitchen. So's your breakfast. Don't want it. No wonder he can't keep his trousers up. Would you hurry, please? I'm a little late.
morning. My name's Tonsley. I've got an appointment with... Uh, my name's Tonsley. I have an appointment with the. Um, uh, uh, I hate to interrupt your education, Miss, but I have an appointment. Take a pew. Hmm. There's a place over here. Tommy Tonsley. Seen right. you many times. Many yeah. times. Used to make special journeys to catch your act. Did you really? Yes. Wonderful act. George Yakes. Suppose you've never heard of me. No. No. I was once seen rep at Acne Green when you played Finsbury Park. You never come to see us? Never bothered, no. No, oh, well, it was a bit of a trek. I was on it prompter, of course. How very lovely to see you all, all your lovely faces here, your very lovely people. My name is Luke. Allow me to give you the rules of the game. You will each, in turn, meet the director of the film. Those put on a short list will be asked to stay, all others thanked and sent for an early bath. Now, to take the kick off, who do we have? A gentleman by the name of Mr. Montague Crisp. Oh. This way, sir, this way. What time did they call you? Seven o'clock. Me too. You heard what happened? Cyril Roper had the part. Oh, lovely old actor. Hadn't worked for years. Started shooting tomorrow. Dropped dead, did he? How did you guess? Experience. Oh, well. That's one skittle down. Like your face. Like your face. Uh, really lived in. So, uh, you've done straight parts, have you? Yes, I've done straight parts. What straight parts? Uh, a bit of Bransby Williams. A bit of everything. Uh, uh, movies? Yes, done movies. Uh, what movies? Well, uh, well, we did one about the music hall. I was featured strong in that. You remember the title? Look at life. I uh, can't say as I recall it. Uh, any others? It's hard to remember, really. <laughs> no. Right. Okay, Tommy. Uh, look, I got a great script here. The Countess and the Cockney, Sophia Loren and Michael Caine. Great little part you're up for, too. Real show stealer of a cameo, know what I mean? <laughs> you get this part and play it right, and you're set up in movies for life. Great face, huh? Great face, really creased up. Yes. Look at life, huh? 
Yes. Any way I could catch it? Not if you've been vaccinated. <laughs> great, great. Really great. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at you. Stand up. Yeah, left face, front face, right face, front face, yeah, about face. Yeah, walk, walk, walk. Yeah, stop. Yeah, turn. Yeah, raise your arms over your head. Oh, hey, like the belt. Where'd you get it? Uh, fine, Tommy. Uh, next, please. Didn't you ever write? Oh, I don't know. Seemed best not to. I sent the flowers. Mm. I've still got the card. Have you really? In memory of my dearest brother. I took it home from the cemetery. Good man was Bill. Yes. He was a wonderful man, was my William. But he wasn't Arthur. Well, I don't know about that. Well, you weren't even his brother. No, I was his adopted brother. Oh, yes, and I, I... I mean, I wouldn't be disloyal to his memory. I never have been. You can ask anyone, but... Arthur isn't William, and William wasn't you. And that's as much as I'll say about anything. Have I said too much? No, no, I think you're very fair. This is a holiday, then, is it? Yes, yes, I suppose it is. I've, uh, I've been in Holland, uh, having a few days in Arnhem. More memories. Oh, that was nice. Yes. Now I've come on here. There's, um... There's something, uh, Something I haven't told anyone in England yet. I, I got married. Oh. Lovely girl. Dark eyes, blonde hair. 24. Oh. Ran off with a sheep man from Wagga. Oh. So, you see. Yes. It's hard to forget. You must. Divorced? Just come through. Oh. Well, looked at all around. I expect it's for the best. Don't worry, Mrs. Tappet, you're perfectly safe. Nina Farthing Personal Services. Oh, oh, um, uh, Miss Farthing. Personal clinical services. Yes, um, I don't suppose you remember me. It's Stephen Benj here. Oh, yes. Hello. Um, y you said my shoulder was wonky. Oh, that's right, yes. Y yes, well, um, what I was wondering is, I, 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 I was wondering if, if you'd like to have a look at it. Are you asking for treatment? Or asking me out? Oh, well, you know, whichever you... Because I'd rather go out. Oh, that's good. Oh, good, because so would I. It's one of us, then. Looks like it. That's good, isn't it? I suppose so. Ooh, one of us. Ah, it mean a lot to me, this will. Will it? Yes. Well, I suppose it'll mean a lot to you. No, no, not really. Plenty of parts where this came from. That's the attitude. Only one. He liked me, I think. He liked me. Oh, well, he would have, wouldn't he? <laughs> All your experience. I mean, you're a well... Still, I think he liked me. What I'd really like is to impress my son. He's never really been impressed with me at all. He says to me, Dad, 
Why do you call yourself an actor? You can't be an actor unless you act. I suppose he's right. I've always been a bit chatty, if I was honest with myself. I've never put myself out, really, to get on. Today I did. All the time I was in there with him. I got a grip on myself. I, I got all of my nerves. I said, you can get this part. You can. Get a grip on yourself. And I did. And he liked me. I think he did. Impress the wife as well. You'll be pretty impressive all round, won't you? Oh, yes. Well, the wife, you see, I've never impressed her with anything. Make quite a difference to my life, will this? Hmm. Well, 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 it's make your mind up time. And it has been made up, and who is it to be? Congratulations, our director wants. You. Me? You, sir, have the part. Oh, hey, I've got the part. You have the part. You, Tommy Tonsley, have got the part. Congratulations, you've got the part. I'm Tommy Tonsley. I'm sorry, sir, you have the part. My mistake, sir. Humble pardon, sir. <laughs> it couldn't be helped. There's a day's crowd work on offer, if you'd care to have that. Oh, yes, thanks. Never mind, old son. You made the last two. That's quite impressive, isn't it? Yes. How's your wallet, Joe? Oh, don't worry about me, Tommy. I'll be fine. Good. Then you can buy us a drink to celebrate. Taxi! Oh, it's it's fine. I, I I think it's fine. Let's have a look then. Oh, hang on, I'll, I'll put my trousers on. I can't see if you put your trousers on. Oh, uh... oh. Oh, all right. I'll come round. Oh no, no. That's too big. Can it try a smaller size? Yes, of course. Be cheaper, I suppose, being smaller. I'm oh, afraid they're all the same price. Oh. Funny, you'd think, wouldn't you? I mean, being less material. Oh, well, they can't use the off-cuts, you see. They have to throw them away. Oh. And it's the same amount of workmanship, see? Oh, I suppose it is. Try that on, Ray. Another cup? Oh, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> nice having the personal touch. That's what I try for. Stay nearer. Uh, all the time now, then, are you, Nina? Ah, uh, for the moment, yes. Didn't you say Uncle Tommy was a relation? Oh, I said a sort of relation. How's that then, Mr. Bench? Don't know. It's a bit tight. It's got to be tight. No use otherwise. <sighs> Nina, this, um, air removal. Is it painful? Oh, no, that's the point of it. Oh. Well, I've got this friend, see, who asked me to find out for her. She's got this, uh, you know, unwanted, you know, air. Whereabouts is it? Well, it. And my friend says it's in the region of the leg. Profuse? Beg your pardon? Is it profuse? No, it is not. Just excess? Well, yes. More excess than profuse. But then again, it's not really excess. It's just too much of it. Yes. Your treatment would help her, would it? Oh, yes. Is that all right then, Mr. Benge? Yeah, yeah, it's fine, yeah. I think you'd better walk around the room a bit, Ray. Hello, hello, hello. Tommy Tomsley here. Anyone in there having a change? <laughs> hello, Ray. Hello, Uncle Tommy. Hello, Marge. Sampling the services, are you? Well, don't forget the motto of the house. Here today, gone tomorrow. 
House, my little barber. Mm. Um. You've been drinking, Dad. Dad? Well, I must confess that I've had a few. Did you get the part? Of course I got the part. Oh, Dad, oh, I am pleased for you. Dad? Grandma, Grandma, what big years you've got. I don't see there's any need for that. I was just under the impression she called you Dad. Who called who Dad? Grandpa, Grandpa, what little ears you've got. Called him Dad. Called who Dad? Called me Dad, you pillock. D A D Dad. She's hanging the dirty washing out, but I don't care. Not today. Tommy Tonsley loves the world today. What? You mean she's your own? Um... Well, so our mother says, yes, and I believe her, I do. She was in the chorus in Scarborough, a shocking dancer, but a warm girl. She's mine, and I shall cherish her. How rosy things get with a bit of success. Oh, that'll be Joe. He's paying for the cab. Come in, Joe. Gives a bit kicked to hang about with the stars. Excuse me, Tommy. There's a lady here. She'll be having her beard off. Wheel her in. <laughs> Mum! Oh, Mum, what are you doing here? Hello, Tommy. I hope you don't mind. Oh, my God. Oh, Tommy. Oh, oh Mum, come and see. Oh, hello. Um, Stephen, this is my mum. Mum, this is Stephen. Hello. Oh, pleased to meet you, I'm sure. And this is her dad. They met in Scarborough. Hello. Oh, we got company. <laughs> Remember Scarborough? Scarborough. The summer you were working up there. <laughs> Did you think I'd forgotten? Mm. Oh, I don't know. Three times you came up there. Four. That's right, four. Mm. I was, uh, I was visiting my school friend, Beth. So you told Bill? Well, I did visit her. Oh, yes. Uncle Tommy was doing a season <laughs> there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to tease you about those glorious girls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you didn't like Preston then? Not really. No. No. Some people don't. It wasn't so much Preston. It was this man, you see. He saw me in Panto years ago, and he's been writing fan letters ever since. Mm. He always asked me to go with him, so in the end I decided to. And it didn't work out? No. I wasn't what he expected, he said. So I stuck it for a bit and then I just walked out. Mm. No good fighting against him. No. Where will Tommy have gone? Oh, he's gone to blow off steam somewhere. <laughs> he's always got to have a good blow off at times like this. He hates to face his responsibilities, you see. And now he's got this film job. That's very good. Oh, yes. Yes, he'll be king of the castle now. <laughs> for a little bit. I made Nina go out. Don't you break your date for me, I said. I'm going to Auntie Rube. You can come and see me there tomorrow. Young men are few and far between. And I could tell he was nice. Oh, Stephen is nice. He nearly married our Iris once, but it didn't work out. What's not to be, won't be. No, I suppose that's it. Do you want the uh, telly on? Well, not unless you do. No, oh, I like it like this. We got a lot in common. <laughs> yes, we have. Lot to talk about. <laughs> Lots of notes to compare. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go traipsing off tonight. Why don't you stay with us? We got a spare room. Don't throw bouquets at me. Don't please my folks too much. Don't laugh at my jokes too much. People will say we're in love. Don't sigh and gaze at me. 
I'm so glad that your Uncle Tommy's daughter. Are you? Oh, yes. Nobody else knows that except Ray and Marge. No, no, no. Well, I shan't say anything. You can trust me. It just makes things easier, that's all. Does it? Oh, yes. Well, don't you see what it means? It means that you're Iris's sister. Or half-sister, anyway. It means that I can talk about Iris. I always want to talk about Iris. Well, I know she's somebody else's now. She won't ever be mine now. But I can't help talking about her. You don't mind, do you? No. And, of course, we must talk about you, too. You must tell me all about you. Oh, well, there isn't really that very much why to... why I love this pub, you see. This is where we had our wedding reception, Iris and I. Well, it wasn't a wedding reception because, well, there wasn't a wedding, but we still had the reception, if you see what I mean. Hello, Stephen. How nice to see you here. Oh, hello, Auntie Molly. Um, do you know Nina? Nina Farthing? Oh, you're Nina Farthing? Yes. I've talked to you on the telephone. You're Tommy's lodger? Yes. You do personal services? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Stephen, you won't remember Arthur. My uh, William's adopted brother. Oh. He's over from Australia, the lovely man. Uh -huh. uh, this is Stephen Bench, Frank Fringe's son. You remember Frank? Oh, yes. I haven't seen Frank since Scarborough. Scarborough? <laughs> he came up to Scarborough while I was working there. Oh! Nina comes from Scarborough. Oh, really? Oh, well, well no, I don't mean she comes from Scarborough, but she was... Uh, her mother comes from Scar Scarborough. Well, no, no, she doesn't come from Scarborough, but she was in Scarborough. Uh, um, she was in a show in Scarborough. When was that then? Uh, 1954. Well, what a small world. That must have been the Tommy Tonsley show. Yes. Her name's Babsy. Babsy Farthing? Yes. What do you know about Babsy Farthing? Oh, nothing. No, no. <laughs> I just remember she was there. <laughs> Wonderful dancer. I remember that most. <laughs> Shall we have some lunch, darling? Why not, darling? Waiter, waiter. Who says that, him or her? Him. Sounded like her. I'll, I'll do it again. Waiter, waiter. I come in. You come in. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Who says that? Her. Thought it was him. No, I'll do it again. Good morning to you. I've got your voices now. Uh, you'll know the difference tomorrow. <laughs> It'll be Michael Caine with the white front on. No, serious, serious. Now continue. I must tell somebody. That's him. All right, darling. That's her. Can I tell you something? That's him. Of course, sir. That's me. I adore her. That's him. I adore him. That's her. Then what do you say? I was once adored. Too. Lovely line, that. Yes. Yeah. Who wrote the script? Art Weisberger. Bloody good. Oh, yes. Lovely part. Yes. Oh, I'll get a mountain of work out of this. Yeah. Yeah, can I tell you something, Joe? What? That my daughter Iris won the title of Little Miss Wandsworth of 1949. Right on this bandstand where we're sitting now. Ah. She must be a lovely girl. She's running a bar in Corfu with a Yugoslav cook. Yeah. Give me the bottle. It's done. Uh, right, well, look, there's a pub down here with an off-license. I'm, I'm sorry, Tommy, I'm skint. Oh. Yeah, yeah, well, right. Right, well, I'd better bugger off, then. You'll be seeing me tomorrow. I'm sorry I won't see you. Nothing personal, you understand, Joe. Just a question of status. 
Good night, old son. Oh, there's no business like show business like no business I know. Good luck! Everything about it is appealing. Everything that nature will allow. Oh, how lovely this is, lovely feeling. <laughs> We didn't have to come out, Marge. I'm not sitting in the pictures with you behaving like that. Well, I'm sorry, Marge, but I just couldn't keep still. Well, all I can say is you'll have to get used to it. It did Mr. Edges good. It'll do you good, too. Ladies and gentlemen, before I sing my last song this evening, I have the most wonderful piece of news for you. My nephew, who is here this evening, has told me that a relative of mine is to start making a film tomorrow with Mr. Michael Caine and Miss Sophia Loren. Yes, truly, both of them. And this relative of mine is none other than the distinguished artist, Mr. Tommy Tonsley. I'm sure you would like to join me in wishing Tommy good luck. And of course, to Michael and Sophia. Who knows, they may even pop in and see us. Good luck to them all. So I would like to sing my last song and dedicate it to dear Uncle Tommy, to Michael and Sophia, and to Arthur, my husband's adopted brother, who I asked you to welcome home earlier this evening. The song I would like to sing for them is Scarborough Fair. Oh, <laughs> Unfortunately, Ted does not have the music for Scarborough Fair. So instead, I will sing a song that I know always brings back very happy memories of that part of the world. Climb every mountain. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Under the table you must go. Hit the cat you bend in. I'll cut your neck right off. Knees up, knees up. Don't get the knees up, knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, my, what a rotten song. What a rotten song. What a rotten song. Oh, my, who oh, a rotten song. And what a rotten singer, too. Knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, wonder the table you must go. If I catch you bending, I bet you'll make right off. Oh, yes, and knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up, mother. Excuse me, sir. Knees up, mother. Yes, is that your car, sir? Is that your car, sir? Bloody jumped up, squit. I beg your pardon, sir. You're hardly out of nappies, are you? All the same, the whole country's the same. Run by run, the jumped up, bloody squits. You can't order me about. Are you going to move along quietly, sir? Or would you like to come down to the station? Station, Paddington, Kingscroft, St Pancras, Grand Central City, Chattanooga. Oh, listen to me, pal. Is that the Chattanooga choo choo? Hard track number four. Oh. All right, come on, sir. All right, sir, you catch me. Hard track number four. All right, sir, four. I will. Oh, listen to me, pal. Is that the Chattanooga choo choo? Ha 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 ha! All right, I told you before. Oh, na ta 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 I'm so glad he's got on. Oh, yes, it is nice for him. Yeah. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> ah, you're right, sir. You're absolutely right. The working classes have been much maligned. I come from the working classes, Dennis. Oh, I know you do, sir. Yeah. The working classes are more responsible, more sober, more morally upright than all your dukes and duchesses in this land. I've always said that. Oh, so have I, sir, yes. That's what I like about you. You are working class. Yes, I am. And that's why I asked you around here tonight, to have a talk, man to man. Try and sort this business out. I mean, after that fiasco in Italy, when it was a fiasco. Yes, it was, sir. In yes. all that way, all those expenses just to sell two rocky cotties, it made the firm look very silly. Yes, sir, it did, sir. Yes. Uh, there's been a bit of pressure to have you drop, Dennis. Yes, I can imagine there might have been, sir. But what I always say is, and I said this to the board, Every man is entitled to make one mistake. I've made a few mistakes. Uh, I dare Not say many you have. Oh, no, sir, no. So I said to the board, I said, I like Dennis, his working class, mm -hmm. backbone of the nation. That's the working classes. Uh, help yourself to the brandy, it's 45. Oh. Uh, yes, I said to the board, I said, give Dennis another chance, I said. Putney said, right here. Can I speak to Dennis Thompson, please? Mm hmm. It's for you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> hello? Hello, Dennis. It's me. Oh, hello, darling. I know you said not to trouble you there. <laughs> yes, I said that. But I've had your mother on the phone and she's a bit upset. Oh, really? Yes. It seems your father's been arrested. Uh, oh, oh, really? Yes. Drunk and disorderly and assaulting a policeman. Uh. I see. She wants to know if there's anything you can do about it. I see. Well, uh, Mr. Wright has been kind enough to insist that I stay here the night. I know that, but you must do something, Denny. She's in a terrible state. I see. Well, of course, you're quite right, darling. There's nothing for me to do. Uh, Frank's your man, I should say, and Auntie Molly. Call them, you mean? What a good idea. But it's none of their business, Dennis. Added to which your mother's got some woman staying there, too. Oh, really, darling? Who's that? The mother of your father's illegitimate child. I, I see. And Molly and Frank don't know about that, and I shouldn't think your mother wants them to. I see. Uh, um, Christopher's staying the night with a friend, isn't he? You know he is. Good, so I'm glad there's nothing you can't sort Denise, out. Denise, this is your Thank bloody you, family, not Mrs. mine. Mr. Ryder and I are having a wonderful time. Oh, I'm not chasing and I love you the too, the darling. Sleep well. No problems, I hope. Oh, good heavens, no, no. <laughs> No, we don't spend much time apart. She uh, hates to go to sleep without giving me the news and uh, saying good night. <laughs> Our solid working class background, I suppose. Solid and dependable, mm. of course it is. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. oh, I didn't mean this to happen. Didn't you? No. no. Well, I mean, there we were talking about Iris, and suddenly... Here we were. Yes. You asked me in. Oh, yes. Well, I wanted you to see where we were going to live. And Iris and me, I mean. Oh. They wouldn't let Auntie stay at the police station then. Well, they said it was better not to. That's quite right. There's nothing she can do there. Frank was quite sure there was something he could do. That's why he went up there. One of the inspectors is in his lodge. Daphne, we are not supposed to talk about the lodge. They're not allowed to talk about it. Dreadful things happen to them if they do. All the same, Frank. If that inspector was in the same lodge Daphne. as you... Well, I thought you were supposed to stick together. I thought that was the point. Wouldn't even see him. Too busy, they said. Well, I don't think it was right. Not after all that mumbo-jumbo you had to learn. I have not discussed it, and I refuse to do so. Now, look, don't you worry, Frank. If you get into trouble for it, we'll all back you up. Long time now see, Frank. That's right, Arthur. No, no, no. Not since Scarborough. No. Here we are, then. Oh. Do you know what Tommy used to say? Roses made the rosy. That's what Tommy used to say. Oh, then. don't take it. It'll be all right, Tom. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm Let sorry. Let me take it. You sit down. Now. You sit down, mother-in-law, you'll be fine. Oh, he didn't mean it. I know he didn't. Oh, of course he did. Well, I'll tell you something, Auntie, and I mean this. That's the last case of scotch the police dance get from me. Oh. Will he be out for the film? What film? 
Well, Uncle Tom is making a film with Mr. Michael Caine and Miss Sophia Loren. Good God. Yes. I gave it out to the customers over the microphone last night. Will he be out for it? Well, that depends, I suppose. Oh, he won't have to go to prison, will he? Oh, no. No, 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 no. no of course, there'll probably be a fine. Well, so I suppose Dennis will see to that, won't he? Dennis knows his duty, Frank. Oh, I'm sure he does. As to what time they release Uncle Tommy, well, that's rather up to the magistrate. Oh, it'll oh. be all right. I know it will. Oh. He's always wanted to go straight, play a serious part. Well, Pally Archie was just the same. <laughs> and Dave Allen. Yes. Come on, let's have a cup of tea. Yes, we'll feel better after that. Where are you going, Frank? Upstairs. What for? Do I have to go into details? Oh. oh, Frank, be as quiet as you can, won't you? Nina's mum's asleep up there. I didn't wake her. I didn't see the point. Nina's mum? Nina's the lodger. Oh, I see. She does personal services. Oh. I, uh, I didn't realise that Babsy was staying here. Babsy? Yes, that's her name. Arthur knew her. A little bit. In Scarborough. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, who are you? Frank. Frank Benj. I'm sorry? Don't you recognise me? Um... Pepsi Farthing, Scarborough. Good God. Nina's my daughter. She's staying here. I've come to visit her. Oh, oh I see. How lovely to see you. Yeah. And you. <laughs> so many memories. Yeah. So, uh, Nina's your daughter, is she? Yes. She was born in the spring after Scarborough. I am going to marry Nina. I'm going to marry Nina. Oh, oh Nina, that's wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, I'm so happy for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes, so am I. Look, no, I'm going to tell them all. Come on, come on, Nina. Oh, I love you. Come on. She's going to marry Stephen. Who is? Yes, Nina is. Marry Stephen? Yes. Stephen? She's marrying Stephen. Yes. Oh, isn't that oh, nice? She's so like a word with you, please. Oh, what are you doing here, Dad? Isn't it wonderful, Frank? He's getting married. Stephen, I would like a word with you, please. He's going to marry me. It's lovely, isn't it, Frank? In private, please, oh, Stephen. Oh, not now, Dad. Now! In private, now, Stephen! Good heavens, Frank. That's not the mood to be in. Your son's getting married. He is not getting married. Well, of course he is. You wanted him to get married. He says he is, Frank. He's marrying Nina. He is not marrying Nina. But he says he is, Frank. It is my business. He Dad. cannot marry Nina. What are you talking about? He does not know who her father is. Well, that's not so bad these days, Frank. Not these days, it isn't. As a matter of fact, I do know who her father is. I do know, and I do not care. Are you out of your mind? I am proud of who her father is. Proud of it? Yes. Oh, Stephen. Proud of it? Yes, I am. My God, I don't know what to say. I... I, I didn't... Thank you, Stephen. I'm proud of you for saying that. What are you talking about? But it's no good, Stephen. It's not on. You have to think of your children, you see. What are you talking about? He knows what I'm talking about. 
are you talking about, Dad? Oh, don't be thick, Stephen, of course, you know. Are you being bloody personal? What are you talking about? I'm talking about what you're talking about. Well, what is he talking about? Well, I know what he's talking about. What's he talking about? Well, he doesn't know what I'm talking about. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. You're talking about me. You never liked me. You told me that in Scarborough. Scarborough? What did you tell you in Scarborough? I never told you anything in Scarborough. Oh, yes, you did. That night you got drunk. You said the peddlers were rotten stock. Stock? Did you say the peddlers were rotten stock? Oh, for you God's sake, what's the matter if I did? Frank, Frank. It's got nothing to do with what we're talking about. I don't know what we are talking about. It's Stephen and Nina we're talking about. They cannot get married. It's against the law. What law? The, what law? Any law. Nature's law. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry, Babsy. Babsy? It'll have to come out. It's too dangerous. It's, it's the blood, you see. It's far too close. She's only my half second cousin, Dad. What are you talking about? What the hell's going on here? I didn't think we were running an all night oh, cat. Tommy, Tommy, you're out. Of course I'm oh. out. And it's time you lot cleared out. I'm filming at eight. And I've got to get some beauty sleep. Oh, my God. How did you get out, Tommy? The superintendent's in my lodge. I didn't know you had a lodge. We're not allowed to talk about it. Well, that was very strange, all of that. Yes. Still, I'm glad for Stephen. You can see that in love. Yes. Arthur? Yeah? Were you a naughty boy in Scarborough? You know, I was naughty. You were there. <laughs> Let's have a little drinky for old times' sake. Morning, Nina. Sorry we're so early, but we had to come first thing. I think you'd better have a bigger size. Sorry, Joe, gotta get dressed. But, but Tommy, I just want to tell you. I told tell you yesterday I wouldn't have time today. Come in, mate. This is it. The black hole and cow cutter. Yeah, my mistake. Not me, I think. <laughs> Oh, you could do me a favour, Joe. You could direct me to my dressing room. That's what I was trying to tell you, Tommy. The director's changed his mind again. He's put me in the bar. He said he preferred the Shire type. I phoned my son. He was very impressed. Good. There's no business like Joe, business like no, business I know. Oh! Born and Bread is back next week at the same time.